Hi, my name's Harris, I'm a final year medical student and Ryan's asked me to talk about reflecting on my five years at medical school. Obviously this is my personal experience, everyone's is going to be different and that depends on what medical school you go, whether it's in the UK or if it's Europe and further abroad. Honestly, the hardest thing I think in my time in medical school was definitely in the first couple of years. Just getting your feet right, knowing what you need to learn and just coming to terms with, right, I'm on a medical degree. My university first two years are heavy, pretty heavy with theory, You're learning all the theory to put into clinical practice later on and this can get quite overwhelming at times. Very heavy stuff, you just feel like you're, you're, you're just sat in a library all day or in your bedroom just revising and you're just never getting out because of the sheer volume of work. So I think if you can overcome the hurdles of first and second year, it's not plain sailing but it's definitely uphill from there. Best thing for me, definitely fourth year medical school elective. Now obviously for me I've just said it's fourth year, other people have it earlier, other people have it later on. But the elective for me, I'm for I'd say nearly every medical student is the best part of medical school. Elective for people that don't know is where you can choose to specialise either in the UK or go abroad and work in anything you want for a period of up to, in my case, eight weeks. So some people choose to stay in the UK, some people choose to go abroad, some people do a bit of both. I, for financial reasons, to maximise my budget, split my time between working in the UK and working abroad. In the UK, I worked in a tertiary centre, so a high-end hospital working in a particular type of surgery where I got to do actually a lot of hands-on scrubbing in and practical stuff that you wouldn't typically tend to get to do in your normal medicine curriculum. But the best part was the last four weeks where I travelled to Central America, Mexico, Belize, Guatemala and got to experience healthcare and a lot of other stuff whilst travelling with a good friend and for me this was definitely the best part of medical school. You get to put the stuff you've learned in theory doing a lot of clinical work in a developing country where healthcare is totally different so you're always learning new techniques, new communication skills and for me it's an invaluable part of medical school. So my worst experience in the field of medicine came before medical school when I was volunteering and I don't even know if this is like legal but I'll tell you anyways. So I was volunteering on a vascular surgery ward and on this ward uh, I was responsible for the very technically difficult task of giving meals to patients at lunchtime. Now this was uh, a big job for a 16 year old um, and a 16 year old giving meals out on a ward can be quite daunting. Now this particular moment still gives me nightmares. I remember giving a meal to a patient who had his back turned to me on his bed. Um, I could tell he was upset, he wasn't really, he just wasn't happy. Um, so I thought, alright, I'll, I'll test myself, I'll try, I'll try to cheer him. It was a beautiful day, um, so I, I tried to speak to the gentleman, I tapped him on the shoulder, um, I can't remember what it's called, I said to this gentleman, um, hello sir, I've got your meal for you here. Um, he wasn't interested, so I said, well, have you seen how beautiful it is outside? It's a beautiful day, sun's out, the you know, birds chirping. Um, have you thought about going outside for a walk, getting a bit of fresh air in, getting the exercise, be fantastic for you? Um, at which point he turned around and he said, um, I'd love to go for a walk um, if I hadn't just had one of my legs cut off this morning. Uh, and, and at that point, I realised I'd, I'd messed up pretty big. Uh, and I don't think I ever went back on that walk, to be honest, after that. I think that was the final day. Uh, I don't even know if he ate his meal or not, um, but that just tells you and it taught me to be very, very careful in how you approach situations and to this day that has still scarred me mentally, man. <laughs> horrible, man. <no. laughs> Proper horrible. <laughs>